Hey everybody, it's Hylian Alchemist, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure. In the last episode, we started doing Amy's Scenario, and we just started with Twinkle Park, and in this episode, we're just gonna head out of Twinkle Park. Now, now, calm down. By the way, I fucking love that music. This is like, without a doubt, my absolute favorite character theme. Well, just uh, nice. just, just, just Gamma's theme. It's it's so it's such a good track. It really is. <laughs> You're not going to escape from here. Let's see if you can clear this awesome game. 
Alright, so I guess we just have to play this little game here, and that actually, uh, this is actually where, uh, we can get one of those upgrades. Uh, we have to do here is that it's basically Whack-A-Mole. Well, in this case, Whack-A-Hedgehog. Um, if you, uh, if you whack Sonic, well, just a regular blue Sonic, then, um, then you just get 100 points. Uh, if you get Super Sonic, then you, uh, doubles the points, but if you end up hitting Robotic, then you lose points. Or no, I think it just triples points. I don't know. Um, here's the thing, though. I, uh, screwed this one up pretty badly. I don't know if it's just, um, so many Robotics keep coming up more so than the Sonics, or if it's just, uh, the recording curse. Yeah, see, I... I, I, I completely fucked that one up. Um, even if you do, uh, screw then, um, yeah, you're, you're, you're able to try this again afterwards. But it is actually required for you to just uh, beat this game in order, in order to actually escape. Just make sure you get, like, try to get as many Sonics as you can and just, um, uh, just see if you can get the Super Sonics too. Uh, Super Sonics tend to, um, tend to, uh, burrow back in pretty fast. They're kind of tricky like that, but just be sure to just top the highest score, which is just uh, 2,000 points. And we already made it, though. We're almost done here. What? I can't believe this is happening! Oh, yeah, you better believe there, dude. Alright, and we get the Warrior Feather! Yes, we know, we're getting the Warrior Feather. Behold the warrior feather! Now you can do the spin hammer attack! Press and hold the action button and move the directional pad in a circle. Uh, I would say though that like, uh, yeah you can just uh, do that right there. Yeah, it's like Super Mario 64. Um, it's not all useful, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to go back into the game. Uh, we're gonna have to come back there later on though for another upgrade. Alright, so, uh, we, uh, smack the switch with this hammer here, and then we go into our new stage, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hot Shelter. And, yeah, um, I'm, I'm not even shitty with you guys here, uh, this is the only stage that Sonic does not appear, and, like, it's so weird, though, you would think that there would be ten stages in total, because having to play through all of them as Sonic, but no, there's actually one extra stage, there, there's actually, like, a total of eleven action stages, so, yeah, that one extra one is the only one that um that Sonic cannot access somehow. And, turn the key to the left to and same thing with the other uh well with the uh, Tails and Knuckles as well. Alright so basically a uh, hot shelter um it has uh, some kind of a puzzle elements. Like you, it, it's it's also kind of one of well, at least in uh Amy's case um it's one of the more pain in the ass stages I should say because yeah these puzzle elements but you also have to watch out for Zero who's also yeah see there he is right there. Yeah, you, you, you just constantly have to watch out for him, and that's that's where it gets a little tricky here. You see that triangle right there? That's the, uh, that's the target marker where he'll grab you. So you gotta watch over that. But yeah, there's the puzzle elements like I'm talking about. There's, um, there's parts where you, um, where you just, uh, twist the, um, where you, twi where you, uh, twist that little crank there, and then it... Makes the door open. And this door over there, um, it actually requires a specific kind of, um, a specific kind of, um, like a kind of turn set. Like, um, at first I didn't get a, I didn't get it right there. Like, I see the lights there, but, but then, um, I was like, wait, am I supposed to do something specific? Uh, thankfully though, the, uh, the ball of light right there will actually, uh, tell you exactly what code it is to, um, Lever. It says left one, right three. Yeah, left one and right three. At least the hint system right there isn't very vague, like a lot of examples I know. So at least I got that one right there, so. But yeah, you really do have to be careful through here, especially when going through those puzzles. And um There's also one that I don't know what it is, but it's very finicky, like but well, you'll see what I'm talking about once we get to it. But yeah, just like always, just try to try, try to get the hell away from Zero, <laughs> so he doesn't catch you. All right, so what was I gonna say? Um. Oh yes, by the way, it gets very weird here. Um, I don't know exactly what kind of rest restroom, but uh, it's actually possible for Amy to get to the men's restroom. Like, wow. <laughs> Um, that's probably uh, over this way, so... 
Um. Shit, I was gonna. There was something else I wanted to say. Um. Let's see. It, it, has, it has something to do with the. Um. Oh, yeah, there's a men's restroom. You can't actually tell because of, you know, the urinals. Yeah, Amy just went right, in, right into the men's restroom. Like, holy shit, Amy. <laughs> but, anyway, um. There was something I wanted to say about, um. I guess mainly about the, the puzzle, or no, the, um. The, uh. Whack a Hedgehog minigame that we had to do. It was right on the tip of my tongue. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was about the, uh, the hammer upgrade. That, that's right. I, I was about to mention that. Um. So, yeah, that, um. Yeah, the Warrior Feather. Um. I would say that it is kind of useless. Um. Well, I mean, it's so useful for attacking enemies, but I never really use it at all. Because, like, you're just staying in one spot and just, uh, like, swinging the hammer around, so... Yeah, I, I, I never get much use out of that. Because either I'm just swinging them basically with a hammer, or I'm just using that, um... That, um, acrobatic, uh, hammer somersault that I always love to use, that I mentioned before. Alright, by stepping on these switch here, or the switches here, then, um, that would set these, uh, these gears to reverse. You can just use them as platforms. Alright, um, I'm not sure how far the particular puzzle is. I do believe it's right... No? Oh, okay. Well, actually, here's something I want to talk about here. This section right here, this particular section, this... I got so nervous coming through here, and... I think what I could have done was I could have just, uh... Well, yeah, right here, like, right... I, I stepped on the switch. What I could have done was that I could have just, um... Jumped right up to that well... Actually, no, it still wouldn't be a good idea anyway, because, um... Because that would still involve having to come across the narrow space, but, like... Th these, uh, platforms here, they're... They're so dark, and the camera is so zoomed out, like... The camera's just panned out right there, and it's it's very tight, and because of how clunky Amy can be, um, I mean, she is just clunky in general, but because of how panned out the camera is and how uh, dark those platforms are, it's very hard to see uh, Amy's drop shadow, and I was very nervous there, to tell you the truth. It's just one of those, definitely one of those more nerve-wracking things about the stage. But just whoa, whoa, oh, okay there, <laughs> Amy. Um, I don't know what just happened. It's like you, you, you jumped down and like it, you okay there, Amy? I uh, that's just wow. Okay, um, I just dropped down for that platform and then suddenly, <laughs> suddenly Amy just has some sort of spaz attack. <laughs> wow, is this um, is the pressure of being chased by the robot really getting to her? <laughs> wow. Alright, but anyway, um, yeah, this is, uh, one of the puzzles I was going to talk about, so... What you have to do is you just pick up the blocks and make sure you place them right into the, into the correct color, or the corresponding color for those blocks. Unfortunately, though, um... Um, it only read, like... Amy can sometimes not bother to pick it up right here. Oh, and watch this. I put all the blocks in, and there's zero. Yep, turns out it was a trap all along. Plot twist. But yeah, there's uh, that's another one of the pain in the ass parts about um, about the hot shelter and um, Amy's gameplay. Is that like sometimes Amy would try to pick it up, but other times uh, she would just not care and then just smack it with a hammer when you really don't want her to. And says so she would just she, she just wouldn't uh, pick it up. It well well just basically like yeah, there's just two puzzles like that, and th this is one where I had the most trouble with. And especially now um, for this particular puzzle, Zero is now running your ass as you try to. Um, as try to put the puzzles in. Now you actually can whack zero just to stun him briefly, but I wouldn't recommend it because if you do that a total of three times, then um well I mean I keep doing that anyway. Because I probably shouldn't have, but if you do that a total of three times, then it becomes invincible and now it becomes impossible to just try to attack him or just stun him. But yeah, this is like yeah, like I said, it's definitely the more one of the more pain in the ass parts about Hot Shelter is that now we have Zero after us, and yet to try to put the blocks in to the correct color. 
Unfortunately for me, though, again, I don't know if it's just Amy's clunkiness or if it's just a recording curse, but for some reason, I just try to constantly press the B button and Amy just wouldn't pick it up. Instead, she just uses her hammer. It's like, Amy, come on, just pick up the damn thing already. Yeah, I, th this is something like I've kind of had a lot of trouble with. Yeah, see, I, I tried to pick it up right there. Maybe you have to become close. Maybe you have to get close to it. I don't know. Either way, I thought I would just pick it up like that right there, but I guess um, I guess the hitbox isn't um, isn't right right there. Like I guess I was just a little off from the hitbox, or just a command of just have or just Amy picking her picking up the block. But either way, I just had a lot of trouble because she would just hit it with her hammer instead. But anyway, we're done with hot shelter. Yep, I told you we're going to be seeing a lot of that right there. And this is where it gets, like, really pointless here. Huh? What's this place? And why is my mouth all white like that? So yeah, um, yeah, like I've been saying, you'll be getting those flashbacks a lot, and you know, probably would have made made sense in Knuckles' case, but yeah, pretty much every single character will get that kind of, will get that. The ball of light will just come in and just take them to the past, and yeah, they, they it's it happens in the most inconvenient times, and that's where it gets really pointless, because like, I, I don't know why that that's a thing. I just don't. Nova, Chow. Don't be afraid. You're safe with me. <laughs> Why is she popping that shell? I'm dreaming. Oh my! I need to get out of this place! Did you guys just notice that the bird just ripped up here right out of thin air? Like, you see in the cutscenes, the bird is even, even there, but then once you're back in gameplay, see, see there it is. It, it just appears right out of thin air. Like, is that bird a god? Actually, it would be, because if you, um, because if Amy drowns in her water, then the, the bird is actually just, the bird doesn't drown, it's, it's still alive. I think he is a god, but anyway, so yeah, you see what I mean about like how, um, like my kind of complaint with, um, with how the ball of light keeps on, um, keeps on uh, coming in at the most inconvenient times and for, for, for every character, like what I'm getting at here is that like after that kind of flashback, it doesn't really go anywhere at all. Like the, the characters don't even reflect on what they saw. They just continue on with what they really need to do. So yeah, it, basically it, it just doesn't go anywhere at all. So that's 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 kind of my, my kind of gripe with this kind of thing. It they just it just keeps showing up like when it really doesn't need to. I mean, yeah, sure, it's probably like a little more history with the uh, with the Echidnas or um or Chaos himself, but it's just it's just sort of there. It's it's just what I'm saying. But anyway, so yeah, next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure, we're I guess well, I mean, we, we already see what happens in the other scenarios. Like we just go and escape from the egg. Well, we try to leave the egg carrier, and then, um, well, yeah, you guys already know, so we'll, we'll, we'll see all that in the next episode, so until next time, see you guys later.